Baby Mimi is getting into the action, rolling around. Look at that baby's hair. That baby Mimi is getting so pretty. She is. Yes, yeah, she is. Go find you a book to read. You don't even look real no more. You're like a baby doll. You too, baby Maymay. Call you baby doll Maymay. Sweet baby. There she goes. Woo. <laughs> hey, everybody. Camper Van Kevin here. How are we all doing today? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Me, I'm good. I'm good. It's a beautiful, cool morning here in Quartzsite, Arizona. Been having a lot of wind. Even had a touch of rain the other day. But, um, well, no, getting ready to leave Quartzsite. I got a few little things I need to get taken care of on Lady Bigfoot. Now, when I bought Lady Bigfoot in Colorado, uh, I don't think it was driven much the last three years before I got it. The guy that had it uh, had Alzheimer's. I think his son in law might have taken it out a couple times, you know, running around the block or took it down to the park once or twice. But, uh, this RV comes with airbags and the airbags were sitting at zero air pressure when I got them. Now the driver's side holds pressure. Um, I, can, I can turn on my little air pump and the driver's side will hold air pressure indefinitely. However, the passenger side, I can fill it up in the morning and by that night, the pressures uh, started to release out of it. And within two days, day, day and a half, two days, that airbag's flat. So I don't know if the airbag sitting flat for that long, if it damaged the air airbags, like cracked the rubber, or maybe something got a hold to the, uh, the airlines themselves, maybe a, a mouse, a rat, or a loose fitting. But either way, I want to go up here to uh, Best Auto in uh, Quartzsite and get it seen about. Come on, go with me. Taking her back to the back back here. Going to put her on the rack and see if he can determine where the leak is or if I have bad bags or both. Bad airbags. Having trouble finding them. Got a nice outdoor lift right there. Go back out here to the waiting room while they inspect Lady Bigfoot. I was just here getting the geo tracker serviced. And there she is right there. So um, I'm putting a four wheel drive lift kit on the uh, Bigfoot. This is the height I'm going to sit at. Uh, currently we're looking for tires. <laughs> I'm out here walking, killing time while they're working on the uh, on the Bigfoot. And I've seen pictures of these, but I've never seen one in person. Take a look. It's a purple tracker, y'all. This is not looking too factory. Not looking too factory. Could, could be though. One way to tell is look at the interior. See if you can see any paint. Yeah, that's factory. Well, you know, purple's faster. Well, I just got some good news on the, uh, on the Bigfoot. 
the mechanic came and got me he said your airbags are fine he said I have found two leaks in your system so I'm letting the babies potty right quick I'll tell you what he found Did he use the bathroom yet huh I knew you had to go tuck all right got the babies back in here behind the baby gate they're just staying in the RV while all the service work's being done on it. I'll tell you what, what we found, what he found. He told me he started, he got under it and he got soapy water, started spraying it everywhere, looking for leaks. And uh, oddly enough, one of the leaks was on top of the airbag. He said it wasn't seated correctly. He took the airbag out, he said the airbag's in good shape but a little bit loose on top, reseated it, put it in, inflated it, it held. And when I bought this RV, I'm estimating that it sit three years with the bags uh, not inflated. So I'm really shocked that it didn't crack the airbags, but so probably what happened during that time, it never seated back correctly when I reinflated it when I bought it up in Colorado so that was one and they found another leak at my air pump that pumps up the airbags so no need to buy airbags uh, they're getting some parts and fittings out of Blythe and uh, they'll have me going here in just a minute so yeah that's that's getting a lot of stuff done for sure Leave while I'm here, I'm gonna get them to do an oil change. Might as well. Well, getting parts has taken longer than expected. I've been here in the waiting room now for a couple hours. And uh, I said, do you guys mind if I bring my babies out? Like, Absolutely not. So I got some company in here. I thought we were gonna be stuck in Lady Bigfoot forever. Well, it's not forever, baby. We gotta get things fixed, get ready to travel. Man, it, it, it smells funny in here. You know, normally I wouldn't let you get on the furniture tuck, but uh, I think that furniture's prime was long ago. The, the, these floors sound funny. Yeah, you can hear your you can hear your feet pitter pat around, huh? Nosy, nosy, rosies. Oh, you want down too? Don't you go outside now. Aren't we lucky you have a nice place to sit, huh? Yeah, I got tired of being in there by myself. Well, baby, you wasn't by yourself. You was with Tucker and baby May May. That's what I said. Oh, good grief. What do you smell, Tuck? Um, I smell uh, WD-40, uh, Marvel Mystery Oil, uh, Castro, um, uh, Super Clean. Oh, don't you go outside that door. Tuck. Tucker. Man, this smells so good. I'm sorry. I'll do better next time. When you call me, I'll come faster. That's my boy. Martini, what are you doing? I'm putting my stank on this stank. I think there's a lot of stank already on it. I don't think you got enough stank to cover it. <laughs> I, it, won't, it won't stop me from trying. He's almost too short to get up there by yourself, you know it. Oh, precious baby, now you're going to smell like motor oil. <laughs> What a mess. Let's see your hair. Martini. See your hair. Looks good, don't it? Uh-huh. Sure. Never a dull moment. Okay, so the, all the new stuff is good. Yeah. This is new. This is new. This is new. Okay. okay. So those are good. This is new. Okay. But this is leaking, and this is leaking. 
All right. And I can't do anything about those two fittings. Understood. All right. All right. But the, the bag itself is good. Right. They, uh, it's the same type of fitting yeah. on the bag, and it just needed to be reseated. You know, I, I just pulled it out, re-cleaned everything, and, and put it back in. It's no longer leaking well, it's got, the bag. It's got to hold better than what it was holding. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's holding 90 pounds. Okay. If nothing else, if we just slowed it down, because it would take a day for it to, to hold, for, to fail. Right. So it's holding at 90. All right. I've had it there for a little while. Seems to be doing all right. It would hold, it would hold for a day. Would it? Okay. Yeah, so with you, you getting rid of a bunch of leaks, yeah. it might take a long time for it to Now, leak. The, those leaks there back of your compressor should not affect your pressure at the bags, because that's your air supply. This, these valves that send it to the bags. Okay, so the bags won't leak down. They shouldn't. You okay. know, if they do, then there's some leaks somewhere else too. Okay, I understand yeah. what you're saying now. So the bags won't leak down. It's just that, uh, that's why I have to turn the compressor off all the time, because it'll, right. it'll run. It'll run constantly because of those leaks back there. But it's got enough, uh, it'll, it'll fill up the bags for me now. Right, right, I got them up to 90 pounds easy. Okay, thank you, sir. So basically in a nutshell, my airbags are holding, but my air supply, the, the, the holding tank for the air, it's leaking. So as long as the bags are working good, I'm good to go. <clears throat> All right. Well, didn't have to have airbags, just had to have air leaks fixed and some fittings. Worked out more or less uh, about 50 bucks for fittings. 150 bucks for all that time chasing airlines. Honestly, I thought it'd be more. These people had the opportunity to beat me a couple times here in the Hatton. I think they're pretty good folks. If you get here in Quartzsite, I recommend Best Best Auto. <laughs> I'm sitting here, I'm sitting here looking at a tractor, trying to make this video, and I got myself tickled. This tractor has a face. Y'all want to see it before we go? Watch this. Y'all see it yet? How about now? No? How about now? I mean, y'all see a face, right? Two eyes and the teeth and the big old mouth. Am I going crazy? Probably so. All right, that makes today's video. Just about getting caught up with everything here. Just need to do an oil change. I didn't have time to change my oil. Got to do an oil change. I'm ready to roll, I think. Put the KLR up, storage. So, that makes the video, right? I think so. So, I'm going to end this little video where? Right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. And you guys take care. And as always, I give God the glory for my life. Jesus Christ, he's my savior. All right, well, I gotta, I gotta get the dogs out of doggy jail. We'll see you next time. Bye. Track into the face. Y'all ready to get out of doggy jail? Man, let me out. Let me out of here. Let me out. You wanna come? Hang on. There you go. Put this up. Man. Man.